Yeah, just uh, no. Oh, that's great. This is it. No turning back. <laughs> Don't get me wet. In the back? <laughs> yeah, you sit in the back. Oh, this is totally slippery. Thanks. Okay, where are we at? Uh, the reason Finn is doing this swim is not for money, but uh, to raise awareness on both sides of the border about pollution and the need to protect the sound and the Strait of Juan de Fuca and the Strait of Georgia. He's really trying to bring attention to the pollution problems and the fact that we need to uh, take action to protect the future. Engage. Perfect timing. Did you get it? And the sun comes up. Oh! Most of the Basically, we just want to stay on a solid pace and just keep things moving. You want to make sure that you never get tired, so you have to keep things moving. Otherwise, you start to, if the cold gets to you, then that's pretty much game over. So, you just got to keep yourself moving, make sure his feet stay warm, make sure his hands stay warm. Point four over the ground on the Loran, which is tremendous speed, now. Yeah. yeah, good. Uh, 
we're gonna we're gonna take uh, at 20 minutes. We take a break. Every 20 minutes we break. We take uh, some liquids in, a little bit of water and some hot liquids as well. Did he have breakfast today? I think he had a muffin or something. He doesn't usually have too much before he goes. He uh, sits in his stomach for a while. So. What do you think he's doing to the water right now? It looks pretty good right now. Hard to tell what kind of speed he's going out here because there's nothing really to gauge off. But uh, Jim says he's holding three knots. That's a good sign. He's doing probably uh, 120, 100. Uh, probably holding about 120, 100 pace right now. Uh, yeah, because we usually we aim for about 130 is what we usually go, but conditions are pretty good right now. You were telling me uh, that yesterday, a couple of days ago, you had him blocking the 105 or 100? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, he's done a couple of pretty good hundreds and push 50s. He, uh, he doesn't do a ton of training for these things, so just mainly uh, just a mental challenge. I mean, you got to be able to be deal with the cold and deal with the weather conditions, but he's got himself in fairly good shape. Good. on the back of my neck. Okay. We got real good conditions here right now. Oh, Finn, we're making time. We're really moving. Okay. I love it when you're swimming strong this time in the, uh, this time in the morning. I'll get the Vaseline on the next one. Is that warm enough, that stuff? Okay. Okay. Job. Okay, I feel good. Oh, well, you're doing great. Anything you gotta watch for right now. They want to give it a bit of throttle. Well, I'm just trying to make sure that um, we don't have any conflicting traffic, no freighters coming down on us, uh, making sure that uh, we're on the proper course because we have to be really carefully positioned to take advantage of the flood tide when it changes. When the tide changes to flood and starts swashing us into Victoria, we want to be in the perfect spot. That makes the final work of the last leg a lot easier. So I'm doing a lot of careful navigation and making sure that uh, Kathy's steering the boat properly, she is, and the boat's going on the right course, and so far it's easy to go just fine. Right. Yeah, plus the wind, when the wind comes up, it may slow the boat down too, if the wind pops up. 
you're going to be a throttle job. Okay, that's how it's going to be really easy. I drink coffee. <laughs> well, I pester my wife. <laughs> how far is he actually going to have to swim, Jim? Well, that uh, kind of does depend a little bit on the tides and how they wash us, but... Um, I was just going to go down and actually do the distance to Victoria. I, I can't uh, quote it to you right roughly. now. It's uh, roughly 18 nautical miles. Oh, well, you're getting it. You sped up and got him and captured him, and now you want to just actually... Yeah, you want to make sure, you, actually it's really nice to keep his face right in between you and Leon, that's where, it, where it's real nice. Well, it's a bit of 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 a the of a bit 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 of Oh, I'd be all right. <laughs> the water's getting warm. <laughs> the water's warm. He takes off his wetsuit. Why do you have to be right on with the, with the uh, liquid? Uh, it's just, it gives him something to, to break the swim up into smaller sections. And it's you know, consistent. It's really difficult to swim if you don't know how long you're going for in each break. So basically that's one of the main reasons is just to break it up so that it's a little bit more mentally to keep yourself focused, just to go one step at a time rather than just try to think of one 30 kilometer swims a bit overwhelming. So, so what do you do? Well we break every 20 minutes and then uh, every third break gets, every, every 20 minutes we give them liquids and every third break which is on the hour he gets a uh, half a banana. So basically it just keeps them focused on that and also it's course for nutrient replacement to, to keep his energy up. Yeah, yeah. Terrific, Ben. You're just doing great. <sighs> on schedule and everything? On schedule, oh, yeah. on course. Sunny day. Far. <sighs> yeah. How's the water? <laughs> Worse than the straight? Yeah, a little colder. Uh, Nothing I can't handle though, I'm used to it. Good. Alright, one down. So hour one. Stroke, but I can tell his stroke rate. If he slows down his stroke rate, it's usually a sign that he's getting tired. 
So I like to get quite a few at the beginning of the race, or at the beginning of the swim, to see what his uh, rates are, and then towards the end, I can keep in touch with it, and tell if he's slowing down or getting even. If the swimmer could uh, hold out uh, until that uh, freighter or tanker get by, it'd be a lot easier on him and you. All right, sir, I think that's a wise action, and I'll uh, look forward to doing that. So um, I won't enter the intersection and, uh, until uh, you give me clearance. Roger, thank you, Captain. Uh, appreciate your assistance. And thank you for your help, sir. Overseas the last uh, Seattle traffic. Yes, Captain, about three miles southeast of Victor Pantop is a vessel by the name of Island Prism. She is the escort for someone that is swimming from Port Angeles to Victoria. They are going to wait south of that intersection at Victor Pantop Boy until you and that uh, freighter ahead of you get by. Uh, but just uh, for your information, over. Out front. Not yet. He, he'll stay off the boat. Hopefully. <laughs> We've hit him a couple times, eh, Jim? <laughs> he'll, he'll stay off the boat. Hopefully. Rain we're heading into, you figure? That's pretty gray though, huh? <laughs> See him at some point in time? I'm not very close. <laughs> <laughs> 10 feet. At our current rate, we got about. Oh no, that's a half hour. It's yeah. 20 minutes. So at the next break, we'll be on the edge of the highway, and we'll have to wait there until these two freighters go by. But I don't think it'll be very long. And then after the two freighters go by, we've got clearance to cross the highway. Well, what are we going to do while he's waiting? He's not sure. He's going to be sitting there, it's going to be really cold. He's not moving. Okay, no call, no play. Yeah. Can we take him in circle? I don't know. Maybe we can go south or something. Or that way. <laughs> yeah, we can try. Yeah, we can head a little bit more that way. Yeah, we can turn left and uh, head towards the edge of the highway and wait further up. Actually, that's not a bad idea, Liam. So let's take on a course of 305 again. Is that maybe we can go around? Like down. Just keep going down. What's that noise? Should be a on Four nautical miles. So we've done four nautical miles in our first hour and a quarter. Which is a tremendous speed for a swimmer. 6.15. He went off at his hook. Yep. I don't know if he went in on the same beach, but he was all halfway down at his hook. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good. 
nice. Uh, I must admit, in Port Angeles, we had a big Darko freighter there. And uh, that was quite a sight to behold. The sight of those things, they hold an awful lot of oil. It was uh, anchored in Port Angeles Harbor, and I understand that one of those ran aground in 86 and actually leaped into the harbor. So that was quite a sight. We went right by the, the stern of that anchor on our way out to the swim. Oh, still calm. Uh, and we have a, a very strong ebb tide setting us out into the Pacific, which is good. So we're taking the nice ebb out into the Pacific and we're going to ride the flood back into Victoria. Yeah. He's using the crawl. Very smooth crawl with uh, good breathing. And he's swimming right beside the boat about uh, four or five feet away. Oh, I like that guy. Roger that now. We've got, um, got a knot. You should be clear of the freighter Greenland. He knows the uh, you're out there. Roger, sir. We're all reversed. Direct to Mr. Parkhouse. Yeah. Double legal traffic. I'll take you. Clear to the sign of any freighters, Jim? Well, there's one behind us right now. We snuck across the highway before he showed up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, good job. Flood tide kicked in, so we're yeah. really getting a nice boot down towards Victoria. All right, so we're out of the slack, eh? Yeah, we're out of the slack. All right. We're on the second half of the swim. Out of the slack. That sun's nice. Very nice. I love it up here. I see you decided to join us, McKinnon. What do you mean? You were sleeping in the cab. <laughs> that was an hour ago.
<laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. the Georgia Strait or the Strait of Juan de Fuca and uh, <clears throat> we're just calling you right now from the boat just to kind of give you a progress or a, an update. He's in the water right now as we speak. We're about halfway across. We're getting pretty close to halfway across. We're heading from, uh, we started this morning at 6 from Port Angeles and we're just heading into uh, Victoria, the Inner mm -hmm. Harbor. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he's, uh, he's been getting some pretty good uh, coverage. We got some posters up over town, and and uh, I think it was uh, Greg Joy or Doug Joy. Yeah, he's he's been great. He's uh, gonna play a six pack this afternoon or something. So he wanted us to call in and let you know what's going on. Should be finished around somewhere between four and five o'clock in, in arriving in Victoria. We're about halfway and he's just looking great. We've got good conditions out here. We, uh, it's quite a bit of freighter traffic, but uh, the, and we're in some thick fog, but it lifted now and uh, everything's sunny and nice calm seas. It's looking great. Temperatures is a little bit colder than the swims he's done before. It's uh, about four or five degrees Shale colder, traffic, so he's been battling land. that. His feet are a little Greenland cold, traffic. But, uh, you know, he's just feeling Port great, so to it's not too bad. Where, what are we? ETA in the Harbor Protect 1415 for a speed of 21. Will do. Freeland, Roger, thank you. Yeah, I we'll have
that we had a bit of low visibility out in the middle but uh, Seattle traffic helped us with that and uh, we made it through and um, it's been an easy swim. He's, sw he's swimming real strong and, and uh, we expect to land down uh, down his song. He's probably at about uh, maybe five after four or something like that. No problem, thanks for calling. <laughs> I'm waiting for you here, Mario.
Well, it's right there. It costs about right 200 meters. 100 yards. 200 meters. You can't. Oh! The boat's in the way. Love Good job, guys. Huh? Hey, Love Finn. You guys. Hey, Finn. Good job. One last thing. They want to know if you can swim on this side of the boat for the TV we cameras. We can swing them around. We can, you know, we can. Okay. We can no, no, we can, we can be okay. Just stay, stay where we are, because we're gonna almost go straight across. So you're gonna do it again? What's wrong with them? Because we can't stay on the slide. Oh, there you go. Ha, ha, ha.